Let's create this blinking effect in Storyline using triggers. All right, so we're gonna create this blinking effect. The way we do that is we go to the object. In this case, it is the man with the headphone. We're gonna click on it, then we're gonna go to the states and we're gonna click edit states. From there, we're gonna duplicate it so that it's exactly the same, we'll call it blink. And then we're gonna create shape layers to cover up the eyes to mimic that it is blinking or that the eye is closed. And we're gonna create the shape, remove the line and fill it with the same color as the skin. And then we're gonna duplicate that to the other eye, just like that. We're gonna hit done. Then from here, we are going to create triggers using motion paths to cause it to blink. So we're gonna create this shape, it could be any color. Then we're gonna drag it down so that it is above the slide canvas or on the same path or the same uh, level. And create a line going left and we wanna go all the way across past the slide. And then we're gonna get rid of the easing, we don't want that. I'm gonna remove that, that was from before. And then we are going to create triggers that's going to interact with the image to make it blink. So right now all it's doing is going to the left when the timeline starts. We're gonna create a trigger to change the state of the image of the man, which is picture two. And then we're gonna have the state to be, uh, to go to blink. Not when the user clicks, but when the animation leaves the slide uh, on rectangle three, which means that as the box goes from right to left, once it leaves the slide, it's gonna change the state of the, the man to be in the blink state. And then we wanna create another trigger that causes the eye to open back up. So we're gonna change the state of picture two, which is the man back to normal not when object leaves, but when the animation completes on that motion path. <clears throat> so as it goes from right to left, it's gonna blink when it exits the slide and then it's gonna open its eyes back up once the animation completes. So let's preview this slide. See that? See how the eye blinked? Uh, let's re replay it. Oh, replay again. And the eye blinked. Now we need to create another trigger that will cause it to basically loop. We want this action to happen continuously. And one way to do that is we're gonna create another trigger we're going to move this animation along the same motion path when animation completes for uh, that same rectangle on the same motion path. So as the motion path goes from right to left, once it's finished, it's just gonna repeat itself. Now what that's gonna do is it's just gonna continuously just loop. And you can see the eye blinking. Great. Now, of course, we don't need the shape. Um, right now we're gonna create, uh, let's change the duration to be a little longer so that it doesn't blink so fast and cause a distraction. And you can see that it's blinking. Great. And what we're gonna do now is take that shape layer and make it invisible so that we don't know the, so that the learner doesn't see what's going on. There we go. It's blinking and will blink forever. It doesn't matter how long the timeline is, it will continue to blink.